Hello guys from our hometown of Seward, Alaska. I really hope you can uh, hear this video and it works out well. It wasn't windy at the house, but here at the head of the bay, it's rather windy. Uh, we're here to snag salmon, uh, sockeyes. Uh, a lot of people call it like the Resurrection River Sockeye Run. That's uh, completely inaccurate. It's more the Bear Creek Sockeye Run at the uh, head of Resurrection Bay. Uh, it's an enhanced fishery through hatcheries and uh, civilians or us we're allowed to catch the remnants of what this uh, commercially enhanced fishery has and it's pretty amazing because you're allowed six fish a day you do need to uh, cross a few creeks here to get to uh, my desired channel well let's start it off real quick in order to legally snag fish, you need to be below the high tide mark. So here to the uh, south, we can legally snag. Some people say, ah, oh, snagging, that's not ethical, not sporting. No, yeah, true, it's not. But this is not like necessarily a sport fishery. This is a fill your freezer fishery. Okay, my weapon of choice is a six and a half foot, one piece ugly stick. Big fan of the one piece because it doesn't come apart when you are casting. This is actually a brand new old reel. I need to put some more line on it, but that's the only braided line I had. But I prefer using braided line for this fishery. Zero stretch. Uh, Tammy, thank you so much for uh, giving us some uh, fishing reels. I'm really looking forward to using this thing. It is awesome. It's like an old school Daiwa SS1000 and it's all metal and they just don't make them like this anymore and moving on up this is a snag hook it's pretty much a large treble hook with some lead on it you cast it out and the pro tip here is i use a steel leader uh, in this fishery you're very prone to uh getting your hook fouled on your line and a steel leader dramatically reduces that all right guys I'm rocking this as a solo vlog so I am here you're gonna want to uh, have your drag nice and tight don't sport these fish just drag them on up when you get them Okay, this is the uh, middle creek that I just casted a line in. No luck, I'm gonna head to the uh, further west creek just behind me here. It really helps if you wear waders because you have to cross a bunch of creeks. I prefer breathable waders. They're awesome, they keep you warm. Just, it's worth the investment. So guys, there's a couple techniques. You can cast it all the way across the water and just jerk it across. If the fish are out of your reach, it's a great way. The other technique is flipping. Just get some line out and close your bail, of course. <laughs> out and amazing technique if the fish are running right in one of these deep little channels. Okay, this is real life, but it pays to be mobile. Uh, there's a few uh, little creeks here, and I see three fish coming in right now. Got right over there. That guy just got one, and that guy on the other side just got one.
Abigail out and bleed them. This one's kind of small, but this is a sockeye salmon. You want to make sure to have a good, solid stringer. Okay, well that little flurry died off at that other uh, creek, so I'm going to come to my old faithful one here. guys that's a nice stringer of six sockeye also known as red salmon and what do we have over here did dad limit out nice catch dad good nice, job nice day fishing. all right guys that's about it for today's vlog on snagging salmon in our hometown of Seward Alaska it worked out well we got our limit hit that subscribe button if you're into Alaska travel adventure our next big one, we're driving a four-wheel drive expedition vehicle around the world. We'll see you later.